The following portion of the Arizona Daily Mix is sponsored by The Outside Insider. All right, still looking to beat the heat? Well, Janine Turner-Tor has some cool cations for you to check out. Good morning, Janine. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. Great to be here. Oh, my gosh. It looks so beautiful behind you. And I think one reason because you are having a cool cation. <laughs> Yes, yeah, something that I think folks in Arizona could definitely look forward to. You know, we've been hearing about this trend of cool cations, this idea of going somewhere with these nice, cool temperatures. And I'll tell you, the mountain destinations are really the place to look. Breckenridge here, 70, 75 degrees on average, no humidity, beautiful sunshine every day. This is one of my favorite places for a cool occasion to beat the heat. And I got to tell you, there's so many great reasons to come here in late summer. Aside from the temperatures, um, it's, you know, a fantastic place where you you don't need a car. You could fly into Denver International, hop on the shuttle up here, and once you get into town, you can bike, you can walk. They've got a free bus system, free gondola. You can really get anywhere you want without having a car, which I kind of love. Um, it's also great for multi-generational trips. You know, we've brought my parents here. Every generation here has something that they will enjoy. There's great outdoor concerts, art installations, and it's great for foodies. Um, they actually have one of their local born and raised chefs here who just won the 2024 James Beard Award for best chef in the mountain region. And he's got two restaurants in town now. One is called um, Radicato and the other is called Rootstock, a little nod to his roots here in Breckenridge. So if you're a foodie, I'm telling you, this destination is up and coming. And then, you know, when you're looking ahead to fall, this is one of those first to fall destinations where mid to late September, you already are in full color here. And I love it because it's a little different than at least what I see in the Midwest. You get those beautiful golden aspens just all throughout the valleys. So just stunning here this time of year. Oh, I, I hear. And also I hear like the outskirts of there are pretty cool too to get like an Airbnb and stuff to stay in and travel around. So, ah. Yeah, I'm, I'm on my way. All right, let's go from the mountains to the beaches, because still that's pretty much where everyone wants to land lately. Yeah, everyone's still looking for those great beach escapes in late summer. And, you know, I always say look a little off the beaten path. I love the Texas Gulf Coast because there's so many. There's over 350 miles of shoreline in Texas, and there's some really great little beach towns that are a little less busy this time of year. Corpus Christi, of course, that's been up and coming, but there's so many beautiful white sand beaches there and a lot of top family-friendly attractions. They've got the Texas State Aquarium. There's a Wildlife Refuge Center. They've got great live music, so a lot happening there. If you're looking for something a little more outdoorsy, I love the Matagorda Bay Nature Park. This is a 1,300-acre nature park that has over 900 acres of permanently protected wetlands that you can paddle through. They also have great beaches. They have really cool lodging there, so you could stay in an Airstream camper. You can stay in these elevated beach bungalows, or you could bring your own RV over. Um, that's a really fun one. And then Port Isabel, another really small community, but just a really you know cute place with boutique hotels. They have the only public lighthouse along the Texas Gulf Coast. Another great little stop if you're looking for something a little smaller. Ooh, I like that. I like it. Okay. Uh, Janine, this is something that's very, 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 very important, and that is you can take vacations anytime. I think people think of just those peak times to take vacations, and they're trying to hustle and bustle there, but you're saying off-peak are the best deals that you can get. Am I right? Absolutely. I mean, let's talk about right there in Arizona in somewhere like Scottsdale. If you have seen some of these beautiful luxury resorts in a place like Scottsdale that you have wanted to try out. Now is a time as a local, you need to go do that because they have rates starting at $139 a night at even some of the top luxury resorts in Scottsdale. So, you know, book a couple nights stay for a weekend, go enjoy some of those amazing spas, some of those fantastic pools. Um, this is the time of year to do it. And they even have really great rates after Labor Day weekend. The rates go up just slightly, but as the temperatures go down a little bit in September and October, there's still fantastic uh, rates there locally. So if you're thinking, I need a little staycation, I need a spa day, I need to go relax in one of these amazing pools. This is when you want to, you know, just go book it and uh, drive a couple of miles and stay somewhere great. It is. And, and you know what? Weekdays. People don't realize weekdays, they actually even go down further than the weekends because everyone's trying to get in there the weekend. So finding those Absolutely. deals are important there. So, OK, where can we find more information about what we talked about? 
Uh, well, look, I would recommend for all of these destinations, check out their local tours and websites like gobreck.com for Breckenridge. For Scottsdale, um, those really great rates, they actually have a website, it's that hot.com. That's where you want to go. And for those Texas beaches, go to traveltexas.com. Um, all these local websites are the place to go to give you all the happenings, the calendars, all the great stuff that's going on. I like it. Hey, Janine, thank you very much for uh, joining us this morning. And you stay cool on your coolcation. <laughs> Will do. Thanks for having me. The preceding portion of the Arizona Daily Mix was sponsored by The Outside Insider.